Hi, welcome to Learn English and Practice with Marie. Today we're going to do American English Idioms lesson number nine. We'll go through five idioms and review their meanings and a couple of examples for each. This is a series, so if you like this video, subscribe for more. Let's get started. First, I'll read through the idioms. Wet behind the ears, down and out, ace up your sleeve, fortune favors the bold, call it a day. Wet behind the ears. This means not very experienced or skilled. So the origin of this may be from the fact that babies or young animals tend to be wet behind their ears as they're being born. But the way we use it is someone who's wet behind the ears doesn't know what they're doing yet. They're just getting started learning. So an intern, for example, may be wet behind the ears because they're just starting with building their work experience. Examples are the new intern is still wet behind the ears and needs guidance on the project. Even though she's a recent graduate and wet behind the ears, she's eager to learn. Down and out. This means without any money or means of support. And typically, if I'm going to say this idiom, instead of saying down and out, I'll say down and out. I'll kind of abbreviate the and in the middle there. And all this means is that someone's fallen on very difficult times. So this idiom was actually used in a Taylor Swift song, Shake It Off. The lyric goes, while you've been getting down and out about the liars and the dirty, dirty cheats of the world, you could have been getting down to this sick beat. It's a cute song. Examples are, after losing his job and his home, he was completely down and out. She felt down and out after her business failed, but she managed to rebuild her life. Ace up your sleeve. This means a hidden advantage. So when you're playing a game of poker, you might slide an ace up your sleeve. That would be cheating. That would be against the rules, but you might, uh, might slide an ace up your sleeve since aces are very high value cards. They can help you win a lot of the time. So an ace up your sleeve is this secret advantage. This It's the secret unknown thing that's going to be game changing for you. For example, a high school might have a track star who just came from another school that no one knows about yet. And that track star, who's an expert at running, might be the ace up their sleeve in terms of winning a big match. Examples are, in the final round of negotiations, he revealed the ace up his sleeve, securing the deal. Keep that information as an ace up your sleeve. You might need it later. Fortune favors the bold. This means take risks to get rewards. I've also heard fortune favors the brave. Very similar concept here. So the idea is that if you're willing to take risks and do things that are uncomfortable, you'll be rewarded because important big things will happen for you. An example of this idiom playing out might be if you have a close friend who you want to uh, be romantically involved with. You might go ahead and ask that friend out because fortune favors the bold. It's risky to do so, but hey, high risk, high reward. Examples are, she decided to invest in the startup, believing that fortune favors the bold. The explorer set out on their dangerous journey, knowing that fortune favors the bold. Call it a day. This means stop working on something. So uh, to call it a day would be to end. Stop the day, stop whatever you're working on and leave. So in a office, for example, a corporate office, you might call it a day at the office and everyone goes home. Typically, this is a very casual saying. You might say to someone else, in conversation, well, let's call it a day and then go home. It wouldn't be a declaration of we are calling it a day to everyone necessarily. Examples are after working on the project for 10 straight hours, we decided to call it a day. 
We made significant progress, so let's call it a day and continue tomorrow. Again, those idioms are wet behind the ears, down and out, ace up your sleeve, fortune favors the bold, call it a day. Great job today. There are other videos like this on this channel and more are coming soon. I'll put playlists and videos right here. Please like this video if you got anything out of it and feel free to practice below. Thanks so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.